Hi, I'm Bob Sursel. I'm going to show you some bike-friendly routes to get between downtown Seattle and downtown Bellevue using the 520 trail. Let's go. This is the first of two videos on biking from Seattle to Bellevue. The second video will show bike routes that use the I-90 trail. We're going to ride from Seattle to Bellevue in four parts. First, we'll ride from downtown Seattle to the 520 trail and across Lake Washington. Then, I'll show three different routes you can use to get to downtown Bellevue from there. I'll use the Bellevue Transit Center in downtown Bellevue as our destination. We'll start at 2nd Avenue and Marion Street in downtown Seattle. Because so much of Seattle's center city bike network has been built, you can ride from downtown Seattle to the 520 trail almost entirely on bicycle infrastructure. Coming out of downtown Seattle, we'll head on to the Westlake cycle track towards Fremont Bridge. Be careful here, as the lane is shared between bikes and drivers turning right. After crossing Stone Way, there's this neat little ramp that will take you onto the Burke Gilman Trail. The Burke Gilman Trail is Seattle's most popular trail, and it can get quite crowded during nicer weather especially if there's a big event at UW. It's easy to miss the ramp going to the light rail station and Montlake Bridge. My advice is that once you pass this off-ramp and can see the stadium, it's time to turn left. After crossing Montlake Bridge, we pass through part of the Montlake neighborhood to get onto the 520 trail. A cool fact to know as we ride across Lake Washington is that we're on the longest floating bridge in the world. Now that we've crossed Lake Washington, let's look at a few route options. There's the flattest and most direct route to downtown Bellevue, a nice recreational and scenic route, 
and an alternate route farther east that's easy to follow. If you're looking for the quickest route with the least amount of climbing, use this one. First, we continue east on the 520 trail for another half mile. After passing through this tunnel, we'll take a left, follow the signs for Clyde Hill, and make our way around the roundabout until we get onto 84th Avenue heading south. The speed limit on 84th Avenue here is 35 miles per hour, so you may feel safer using the shared use path. At 24th Street, the shared use path turns into a bike lane. When we get to 12th Street, we'll turn left. At this five-point intersection, the route bears right onto Lake Washington Boulevard. The road becomes Main Street as we enter Old Bellevue, filled with shops and restaurants. Approaching 108th Avenue, we'll use the bike turn box to turn left and go north. The route ends at Bellevue Transit Center in downtown Bellevue. Let's check out the next route. If you're looking for a more scenic route for recreational riding, use this one. After crossing Lake Washington, take the first right onto Evergreen Point Road, going south through the city of Medina. If you continue all the way to the south end of Evergreen Point Road, you will reach Medina City Hall and Medina Beach Park, which offers nice views of Lake Washington. We'll turn on to Over Lake Drive, which goes up and around the neighborhood. You can stop and take a break at Viewpoint Park on the way. Over Lake Drive eventually runs into Lake Washington Boulevard. On the way, you can stop to check out Maiden Bower Bay Park which features a public beach, boathouse, and restroom facilities. The scenic route follows the rest of the previous route into downtown Bellevue. Let's go to the final route. This route is a popular alternative to the previous routes, as it is easier to follow even though it has more climbing. After crossing Lake Washington, Continue east on the 520 trail for another two miles. At 108th Avenue, turn right and head south using the bike lane. The Lake Washington Loop runs on this segment of the route. As we start to climb, 
the road becomes 112th Avenue. The climb isn't steep, but it does last a mile. Past 12th Street, there is no bike infrastructure, and traffic can get heavy, so we'll turn right onto a wide, shared-use path for a safer way. At 108th Avenue, we'll use the bike turn box to turn left and go south using the bike lane. The route ends at the Bellevue Transit Center in downtown Bellevue. I hope this video helps you find some good bike routes between Seattle and Bellevue using the 520 trail. See you next time!